the law. Uh, without further ado, I'll turn it over to uh, Kip Zeider here on staff, but I will put in a plug for our sweepstakes Corvette this year. We uh, will be ordering a Z06 Corvette, the Z07 package, so uh, more details on our website. So without further ado, uh, Kip. Hi, I'm Kip, and I, I know most of you, and I, I just want to thank you all for coming out on, a, on what we think is a very special evening here. Um, we have been honored to have the Camaraderie number no. 4 Corvette on the floor for the better part of this month, and I owe that all to Mr. Testa, who you will meet later this evening. Uh, for those of you who were here last year and saw Mr. Prince do his presentation, you know what a great program this is going to be. And then we have a very special guest, Chuck Schrodell. Oh. And you will learn more about Chuck as the night goes on. From Chuck, actually. Um, Chuck was actually crewing on the car at 1960. Um, I met Dom a, a year ago when he had the car here for our Grand Prix Festival. Uh, our relationship has, has developed into, into much more of a friendship, and, and I'm blessed for that. Um, <coughs> Dominic is the kind of guy that just doesn't believe that these cars should sit in a garage, and the only person that sees it is him. So we have been uh, very honored to have the car on the floor. It's going to leave us tomorrow. I'm very sad to say, although I have the keys to the center. So maybe, <laughs> maybe it's leaving us tomorrow, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll get the heck out of the way and turn it over to Richard. And again, thank you very much for coming. And thanks to the Rochester Corvette Club for getting all of the oh. cool looking Corvettes out front. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Kip, and thank you, everybody, for joining us this evening, and thank you uh, especially for your support of the International Motor Racing Research Center. Um, we're here, myself, Dominic, uh, his wife, and Chuck, um, because we, we also believe in the mission of the center and uh, are happy to support it, so thank you. Uh, we're here to talk about... Um, a Corvette, but in a much larger sense, a, a way, way bigger story than a single car. Uh, as I think many of you know, uh, part of my livelihood is writing about and photographing cars for uh, editorial publications. And um, my most recent encounter with this car came as a result of a story that I did about it. Uh, I knew the car uh, for uh, pretty close to 30 years because the, the prior owner, the man who rescued it, was an acquaintance of mine through the National Corvette Restorer Society. So I crossed paths with the car many years ago on several occasions, but I never really dug deep and, and came to an appreciation of the story. I began writing in 1992, so it's more than 30 years now, and I can say uh, after considerably more than 2,000 magazine articles. I lost, lost count a long time ago. Um, this is clearly the most interesting story that I've ever come across. And that's what really inspired uh, us getting together this evening. It is really the greatest Corvette story. It's just so unbelievable every step of the way. And uh, a lot of that has to do with the incredible cast of characters who are a, a part of this. And uh, Kip already mentioned Dominic and Chuck. They are two epic characters in their own right. <laughs> Each one uh, is a part of the history of this car. Dominic more recently, Chuck going back to 1960. And um, I'll let him tell you the story of how he came to be in Lama. Uh, he went there as a spectator and um, as a Corvette enthusiast and uh, went home a crew member. And uh, obviously that's a memory that can be cherished for all these many years. Um, I'm gonna sort of summarize the story of this car and what really makes it so incredible, but before we dig into that, we actually have a film for you, so it's also movie night. Um, this is a promotional film that Chevrolet had produced, I think by the Jam Handy Company, which was their film production company. And um, interestingly, Chuck Schrodell was a participant. He played a role in this, uh, in the production of this film. And uh, I'll just let it roll, and then when it's finished, we'll really dig in, and, and I'll convince you that this really is the most interesting Corvette story you'll ever hear. <laughs> <laughs> 